welcome to my studio in New England. My name is Dee Dee. So today we're going to um, go through a practice that's going to help work and combat tinnitus or tinnitus. If you've been experiencing or have been diagnosed by a healthcare provider with tinnitus, tinnitus or tinnitus, then this is a class for you. A tinnitus is a condition within the ear system or the apparatus within the ear system. And it can be quite annoying for some people. I know it is quite annoying for me. I have some flares that occur quite often sometimes, especially during the winter time. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the causes. Then they don't really know exactly why it occurs and they have no cure for tinnitus. But there are things that we can do to help us cope with it. And so I've come up with a, um, a routine here today that we're going to do if you'd like to join me. And it, this is going to combat some of these um, symptoms that occur with tinnitus or result from, and that is feeling distress, um, anxiety, you create sleep disorders, or you don't have a focus or the concentration that you normally do. I've known that my um, concentration has been affected greatly by it. But it is that noise, that humming, buzzing, ticking sound or clicking sound. And I, I describe the sounds for myself as the tail end of a ring or a tea kettling sound or uh, um, sort of a wind sound that's constant is like this sound that's constant and it can be very distracting and, and it can really disrupt life but if you can learn how to cope, you know cope with it then your life will be obviously a lot better so quality of life will be a lot better so some of the therapies um, I've come up with is the first thing is that you want to educate yourself because it's not a disease, it's a symptom. And so basically it is not life threatening, which is cool. Um, it is, uh, it, there's a lot of information that you can look online, but the best website I've seen so far is the American Tinnitus Association and I will post a link down below. Another therapy that's great is counseling. I mean, not everybody's into counseling, but it's really important to open up the throat chakra, which is the fifth chakra. It's associated with the color blue. And what that does is it allows you to open that up by talking with a therapist about your emotions. And between you and your therapist, you can come up with the coping strategies to help deal with just the emotional aspect of dealing and living with the tinnitus or tinnitus. And then we want to look at our general health. How is our diet? Are we exercising regularly? Are we getting plenty of sleep? And then you want to keep your uh, social activities at uh, the best. So going and talking with friends and talking about your feelings or even going to a self-help group where you can go and talk to somebody else who knows what what it feels like to live with tinnitus. And then from here, we're going to think about ways to distract the sounds. It is a very subjective sound, so it's within our heads, our ears. It could be one ear, both ears, or just the head itself. And being subjective is nobody else can hear it. If somebody else heard it, that would be objective, and that'd be kind of scary if other people could hear your own sounds that are created in the head. And so some of the sound distractions that I like to use is sound therapy. And there's a few different ways you can use sound. You can use a white noise uh, machine that you can put by your bed at night to kind of drown out the sound of tinnitus. Or you can use some sort of pleasant sound like um, nature sounds or waterfowl sounds. I have my iPad here and I do have a video that I will link below um, that I found on YouTube that is really pleasant to me. Um, hopefully it won't distract you too much, but it's probably a good thing if it is distracting you, so it'll keep you away from your sounds in your own head. So I'm going to play that. As you can hear, it's a water fountain or a waterfall, and it has some um, birds in the background, just kind of nice. And it's kind of louder than the sounds of tinnitus sometimes. Um, so you're going to have to adjust the sound to meet your tinnitus sound. So try to just go slightly above the sounds that you hear in your head. And another thing that works for many people, including myself, is hearing aids. So when I wear my hearing aids, it's louder than the sounds of my head. So I'm hearing sounds around me more, so it can drown out the sounds and I can just kind of forget about it. So it's a habit to create your, your brain to kind of drown sounds out eventually. So if you have a sound somewhere in your house that's just 
a constant sound that you can't get rid of, like your refrigerator or your dishwasher or something, eventually your brain will say, that's just background noise. So that's what we're essentially trying to create with this practice today. So we're gonna be using concentration in yoga, right? Great stuff. And one of the, another thing that I'd like to incorporate in my practice is aromatherapy. I have a aromatherapy machine over there that's turned on to a nice blue color to open up my chakra, my throat cut chakra. Um, and it has uh, lavender in it, which helps me to relax. You can use any kind of um, essential oil you want, anything that's pleasant to you that relaxes you and helps you kind of de-stress from this constant sound inside your head. All right, so there's some asanas we're gonna go over. We're going to practice a little yoga that's going to open up the throat chakra and kind of release any tension and try to help us not feel so overwhelmed by the sounds in our head. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of distractions. So if you have um, alerts on your phone or if you have your phone nearby a computer, you wanna get them out of the room. I'm gonna keep my iPad because I wanna hear the sounds here. And, you know, of course, make sure your dogs are off and away. I love having my dogs in here, but not for what I'm doing this particular practice. So we're going to go right into Shavasana. We're going to lie on our backs. <clears throat> so lowering yourself down onto your back. And trying to get as comfortable as possible. Extending your legs out, separating them. And letting your feet flop off to the sides. And allow your entire body to soften onto your mat. Inhale deeply in your nose. Exhale out your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. With your next inhale, make a fist with both hands as tight as you can. On your exhale, release your hands and bring them back down to the floor. Now we'll do the arms. Inhale nice and deeply. Flex all the muscles in your arms. And exhale, release them back down to the floor. And then we'll go on to our face. You're gonna clench your, your eyes and you're gonna clench your jaw. Inhale, squeeze everything in your face. And exhale, release. Soften the jaw. Next, we'll go on to our legs. Inhale, flex all the muscles in your legs, your buttocks. And exhale, release. Inhale, flex both feet and point the toes down towards the floor. So squeeze them as tight as you can. And exhale, release down. Relax your entire body, shoulders, jaw, face, and rest for a couple breaths. Breathing in and out your nose. And then bring your knees into your chest. Hug them close and rock from side to side. Coming back to center, bring your feet back down, arms out to a T, lift your hips, shift onto your left hip, and drop both knees off to the left. Look over to your right side, opening up your side body. Slowly coming back to center. Lifting your hips, shift onto your right hip, 
both knees off to the right. And you can look over your left shoulder if that's okay. Softening the jaw, relax the face. Slowly coming back to center. Knees back into your chest and rock from side to side. Massaging your entire back. You come back to center, bring your feet back down. I'm going to flatten your shoulder blades down onto the floor. Hands are going to press down to the floor. I'm going to bring your knees back into your chest. We're going to be doing a rocking motion here. And we're going to try to bring our legs up and over our heads this way. We're going into a plow pose. And a little bit of rocking. And then bring your legs straight over your head. And just settle here for a moment. And keeping your neck nice and long. And then on your next exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, release a little bit. Use your hands to stabilize you. Exhale, see if you can go over your head a little bit more. Your toes are going to go towards the floor. Inhale, come up a little bit. On your next exhale, See if you go a little bit further. Now your toes may touch the floor, but that's not necessary. Listen to your body and go as far as you can. Slowly coming back up. Bend your knees. Use your hands to help you roll yourself back down. Straighten your legs. Your feet are going to be flexed and next to each other. Point your toes. And you're going to come up onto your elbows. Bring your hand, right hand underneath your right buttock, your left hand under your left buttock. Bring your elbows close to the spine. Bring the shoulders back and lift your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And slowly drop your head back so it falls down towards the floor. It's just fish pose. This allows you to open up your throat chakra. Slowly come back to the center. And slowly release down. Bring your knees back into your chest. And rock from side to side. We're going to bring our feet back down. We're going to lay onto our right side with our right arm out straight in front of you. Relax your head down to the floor. Left hand goes on top of the right hand. On your next inhale, extend the left arm up and overhead. Keep your knees right where they are. Open up your chest towards the ceiling. Even your belly might go up towards the ceiling into a twist. Exhale, come up and around, and stack your hands again. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, extend the arm up overhead, so the top arm is coming up and around. And exhale, come back down, and stack your hands. And one more time. Inhale, extend the arm up overhead. Exhale, come back down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So coming back to center. The left arm goes out in front of you. And the right arm goes on top of the left arm. Relax your head down. Extend the left, right arm up overhead. And open up into a twist. Keeping your knees right where they are. Exhale, back down. Inhale, extend the arm up overhead. 
exhale, back down. One more time, inhale, come on up. Exhale, back down. And we'll come back to center. Knees into your chest. Rock a couple times if you like. Right arm overhead, bring your feet back down. And then shift onto your right hip. Use your right arm as a pillow. Left arm could be used to help you come up to a comfortable seat. And sitting up nice and tall in your Sukhasana. Closing your eyes for a moment and take a moment to listen to the music or the nature sound you have, whatever sound you have chosen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a B breath, B E E breath. So it's B breath. So this sound is a sound that's created inside of the skull, and it's supposed to create this echoey vibration sound that kind of distract you from the tinnitus sound. And how we're going to do that is you can either put your, your finger right into your ear canal and block them. So we want to occlude your sounds of your of sounds around you. Or you can press on the little cartilage that's right on the outside of your ear and press them in. And that's what I like to do. And what you'd like to do is inhale nice and deeply. And then actually you're gonna make a humming sound just like a B. Inhale, let's do that one more time. And then you can release. Kind of like this buzzing humming sound that you create. And you can actually feel the vibration in your head. And it actually kind of moves the coculate hairs, as they say. And it kind of allows sounds just to kind of neutralize itself. Try it, see if it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta know what works for you. So sitting up nice and tall, placing your hands back down to your knees, close your eyes. It is here that you would want to chant the word Om. And you can do that on your own. And then slowly open your eyes, bringing your hands to heart center. Namaste. Coming up. Well, I hope that that was beneficial to you. And if you have any comments, thanks. I would welcome them. Thanks. See you later.